Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. Paul writes on marriage. Paul says, Now concerning the things about which you wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. But because of sexual immoralities, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Let the husband give his wife the affection owed her. The NU and Textus Receptus says what is owed her instead of the affection owed her. And likewise also the wife her husband. The wife doesn't have authority over her own body, but the husband. Likewise also the husband doesn't have authority over his own body, but the wife. Don't deprive one another unless it is by consent for a season, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and may be together again that Satan doesn't tempt you because of your lack of self-control. So Paul here is encouraging married couples to come to an agreement what time and how much time to spend apart from one another so that you can dedicate yourself to fasting and prayer. And not to make it too much time either. Enough that both of you know you can handle it or else you might be tempted. But this I say by way of concession, not of commandment. Yet I wish that all men were like me. However, each man has his own gift from God, one of this kind and another of that kind. But I say to the unmarried and to widows, it is good for them if they remain even as I am. But if they don't have self-control, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. But to the married I command, not I, but the Lord, that the wife not leave her husband. But if she departs, let her remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband, and that the husband not leave his wife. Very good advice from Paul here. Next session, don't miss next session because this is a real good one, okay? Paul says in his own words that what he writes, at least in that portion, is not the Lord's word. Don't miss it. Until then, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.